Ralph Irvin at the Speaker Aquatic Center, where Thursday night UCLA was a 10-9 winner over USC. The Bruins took the early lead on a Danny McClintic goal and then made it 2-2 at the end of the first on a goal from Chancellor Ramirez. To bounce back and get the game evened up at the end of the first was uh, was critical. There was long stretches there also where we weren't able to get bodies out. If you think about how long it took to get to the first goal, I mean, Lucas was out there for a long time, and uh, for them to, to, to stay with it defensively was uh, good. Trailing 4-2 at the break, UCLA came back in the third with a second goal from McClintic and goals from Paul Reynolds, Tony DeBow, and Chris Wentz to make it 6-7 going into the fourth. I just looked at their goalie, saw he was slightly out of position, and... Really, really though, I mean, I don't know if it was my shot, but I took it, and thank God it went in. We talked about it all year long, uh, that we, we have to stay the course and believe in, uh, believe in ourselves and believe in what we're doing. Um, and, to, and to climb back in the game, I really thought that uh, that group that started the third quarter, you, you could tell, brought a lot of energy in the transition game. We were getting getting great opportunities. Not only did we score, but the, the, the opportunities that we were creating uh, in the front court because of our transition game was critical. So the, you know, the energy kind of swung back our way, uh, definitely in the third period. In the fourth, UCLA got goals from Paul Reynolds and Lucas Reynolds to make it 8-8 at the end of regulation. I was facing the one-two side and I just started backing up. I saw Danny, who usually is on the other side of the pool, but he was up top and he looked at me like two times, and then the third time he just kind of looked off the defender, so both defenders kind of moved out, and he threw a great ball into me, and I just uh, went to the rack and threw one in. We've worked extremely hard uh, to, to get ourselves in a position every year uh, to, to, to be one of the better, or the best teams in the country. I, I will tell you this, our captain Chris went, you know, he looked everybody in the eye and, and he said he'd have it no other way. You know, you talk about a guy playing his last home game, there's no, there's, there's nothing more that, that he wanted than uh, to be in that situation. We've been really working on our mental game a lot lately and we know that no matter what we're going to be in the game, and no matter what, every person we can count on the brother, you have a brother behind you. So we know that in any situation in the game we're going to be okay. After a scoreless first overtime in the second, Lucas Reynolds got on the scoreboard once again to make it 9-8. Paul Reynolds was uh, was up uh, up top of the ball and they were working it back and forth, and Paul and I just made eye contact, and uh, I stepped out, and he threw it right to my hand and just rolled over and threw it in. With the clock winding down in the second overtime, Ryder Roberts connected to give UCLA the win. Jack Feller came up, and we ran a play for him and he did his job and the defender got excluded and I just started inching my way up to the five meter line hoping that he would see me and he did and I drew a foul and I saw there's not any time left on the clock so I pulled the trigger and luckily it went in. Garrett Danner finished with 13 saves for UCLA in the win. Felt pretty good and had a slow first half and started to feel a lot better second half and going into overtime and we were able to come out and beat them this time. It was awesome. It was really exciting to play in a game like this for my first time and at home getting the victory was awesome. Really, we played from every situation this year. I, I will tell you this, there will be moments this year where we're going to be in situations like that again. And, and for us to, uh, to really be able to claw back against uh, the five-time defending champions uh, is something that will be critical for us going forward for sure, for the belief of this group. Once again, UCLA a 10-9 winner over USC. The Bruins are back in action next week up in Stockton in the MPSF tournament. And, of course, the best news and notes on UCLA water polo. You get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.